Okay, hello everyone. How are you going? Hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you are in the world. My day is just starting. It's 8 o'clock. Sunday morning, 27th of June, 2021. Just going to share this one about um, Alfred Watkins. And I didn't even know who he was until uh, uh, Alan from Fendup said the other day. So I'm going to share who he was. You probably know of his work and what he what some of his work was but here i'll show you alfred Watkins, 27th of january 1885 15th of april 1935 was an english author self-taught amateur archaeologist and a businessman who was standing on a hillside in Herefordshire, england 1921 experienced a revelation he noticed on the british landscape an apparent arrangement of straight lines positioned along the ancient features for this he subsequently coined the term lay and now it's usually referred to as because the line passes through a place whose contains the syllable lay life watkins was born in hereford to an affluent family which had moved into town in 1820 to establish several businesses including a flour mill a hotel and a brewery watkins traveled across herefordshire shire as an outrider representing the family business so he got to know the area immediately Inti intimately sorry Watkins also a respected photographer he made some cameras himself and manufactured an exposure meter called the Watkins B meter due to its small size and efficiency an example is in the Museum Resources and Learning Center in Hereford Hereford another accompanied Robert Falcon Scott to South Pole. Watkins, an active member of the Photographic Convention of the United Kingdom, is served as president when its the convention was held in Herf, Her, was it Hereford? Hereford in 1907 and 1910. He was awarded the Progress Medal of the Royal Photography Society Institute in 1878. This medal recognizes any invention, research, publication, or other contribution which has resulted in an important advance in scientific or technological developments of photography or imaging in the wildest sense. Also carries with it uh, honorary fellowship of the society. Over 3,000 photographs taken from Alfred's greatest original glass negative plates are held at the Hereford University uh, Library. In photography, Watkins began with primitive pinhole camera made from a cigar box he devised an exposure meter after exposing exploring the math mathematical relations of length length size and exposure period he published findings in april 1890 edition of the british journal of photography and patney's exposure meter the watkins meter company was active for over 40 years and exported all over the world the device contributed much to photography emergent as a mass market art form. His Watkins Manual of Exposure and Development in 1900 ran to 11 editions. 30th of June 1921, Watkins visited Black Wanderline in Her Herefordshire, where he had the idea that a system of straight lines crossing the landscape dating from Neolithic times. He presented his ideas at a meeting of the Walhope Naturalist Field Club on Hereford in September 1921 and published his first books early British trackways in 1922 the old straight track in 1925 and thereafter he spent a major part of his life developing his theory he published a further book on lays and public participated in the old straight track club from 1927 to 1935 his papers are also in the Hereford Shire Museum Watkins was a member of the Society for Protection of Ancient Buildings. Didn't know that society existed. Uh, an authority on beekeeping and a fellow of the Royal Photography Society. He was also involved in the preservation of Pembridge, Herefordshire, Market Hall. Archaeologists in general do not accept Watkins' ideas on lay. At first, he regarded the ancient Britons as too primitive to have such devised 
such an arrangement, but this is no longer the argument used against the existence of layers. More crucially, there are so many ancient features that finding some in approximate alignment is highly likely. Watkins was sensitive to such arrangements and argued for caution. He also drew up a list according to which landscape features could be given values between one quarter and 1.5 points or more being required as evidence of a lay. Watkins' work resurfaced and popularized from the form from the 1960s following publication of John Michael's book, The View Over Atlantis in 1969. Michael's merged Watkins' idea with mystical concepts not present in Watkins' own work. In 2004, John Bruno Hare of the Internet Sacred Text Archive wrote, Watkins never attributed any supernatural significance to lays. He believed that they were simply pathways that had been used for trade or ceremonial purposes, very ancient in origin, probably dating back to Neolithic, certain pre-Roman. He was intensely rational person with an active intellect and I think he would be a bit disappointed with some of the fringe aspects of the ley lines today. 2002 Watkins had it being named after him. Watkins Triumph brewed on the Wye Valley Brewery. They published a few books, early British trackways, moats and mounds, camps and sites. And this would probably be interesting to look into um, because he, he was into this. The old straight track, its mounds, beacons, moats, sites and mark stones in 1925, the Lay Hunter's Manual, 1927, and Alfred Watkins Herefordshire in his own words and photograph. So there you go. Did you know that? I didn't. Not until Alan told me. All right. Thanks for watching. You have a fantastic day wherever you are in the world. Raise your vibrations. Much love. Bye now.